Hey friends and family, welcome back. Hello, Robolados. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the six reasons we chose Panama. There were some very attractive choices for us, and once we whittled down the list and we had some very specific criteria, we decided that Panama was for us. So, many of our options, looking around, going through the, even the U.S., we looked at Alaska, we looked at Hawaii, uh, Florida, we looked at Australia, going overseas, we looked at Central America, Belize, uh, Ecuador, and South America, uh, even going looking at Portugal, and New Zealand even, Thailand, Malaysia, we did a lot of research in a lot of different countries we kind of looked into, and... These are the top six reasons that we chose Panama. The first reason was the economy. It was very important for us to make sure we retired in a location where our retirement dollars would go as far as they possibly could. And that takes in a whole bunch of considerations like housing, food, transportation, medical care, and um, how can we do our activities? We have some pretty expensive tastes when it comes to what we like to do. We like to scuba, we like to kayak, and so we wanted to make sure that we could live within our means, retirement-wise, and still get the best out of everything. Panama is very highly rated when it comes to making the retirement dollar stretch further. Other countries we looked at such as Belize, Ecuador, um, Thailand, Malaysia, had very good ways to stretch the retirement dollars as well. However, we also had some other considerations, and when you coupled our other reasons with how to stretch our retirement dollars, Panama rose to the top. Reason number two, the infrastructure and amenities available to us. So Deb here tells me that we're not getting any younger, so we had to look for places with some amenities and the ability to get health care when we needed it. So That's fair. We, we started looking around for places who had the infrastructure and the amenities to make our lives a little more comfortable than living in the middle of nowhere in the outback of the U.S. Uh, so we were looking for a place that did have medical care, had shopping close by, had the ability to have a town where we could go in and get anything we needed relatively quickly and not be a long drive from the shopping, the things that we might actually need to survive on a day-to-day -day basis. More importantly, um, we're, we're babies of the internet just like everyone else. We wanted a place with reliable internet, we wanted reliable transportation, public transportation, and Panama has done a very good job of this in many cases. Um, there, of course, there's some rural parts of Panama that don't have that, and we are going to live in one of those areas, but we're within minutes from everything we need, and that was important. Along with that, I was extremely shocked at how well the whole country of Panama is covered with internet. Uh, the uh, cellular service there and the wireless internet is amazing throughout Panama, much better than the U.S. than the areas we live in. We get better coverage at the top of the volcano in Panama than we get here in West Texas in the middle of the desert. And I found that fascinating. I think you did too. Yeah. We were always in contact. We were, alwe we were always within reach of an internet or a phone. And that appealed to us. Reason number three was ease of residency. It was very important to both of us that if we wanted to establish residency, that we'd be able to do it without jumping through a lot of hoops. Panama rose to the top. Although there are some very good countries there with easy residency, um, when you take in all the factors we were considering, Panama has a specific visa for retirees called the Jubilado Visa, and it means the retiree visa. And what it boils down to is you just prove that you have an annuity or a retirement and you make sure you're an upstanding citizen in the country you're coming from, right? No, I think. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> uh, we had to turn in FBI reports, so hopefully those went well. Um, just matter, of course, we did get our temporary residency. We're waiting on the final determination, and hopefully Panama will think we're a good fit with them too and approve that residency. Um, ease of residency. I believe that it took us longer to gather the documents 
than it did to submit the documents oh, and, and get the temporary ID issued. Mm -hmm. And so that was very good. Ease of residency, simply make sure that if you choose Panama or any other country, hire a lawyer that's experienced and has an excellent reputation within that country. We hired a law firm out of Panama City, Kramer and & Kramer, and they walked us through the process. We had all our documents before we ever went down. They had a copy of everything, and they were already submitting on our behalf before we ever hit Panama. So ease of residency. Panama may not have been the easiest. There was, I think, one or two countries we looked at that were a little easier. But for us, coupled with stretching our dollars and the amenities, ease of residency, Panama was still right there at the top for us. Reason number four was safety or lack thereof. Uh, Panama by far is safe. They are crimes of opportunity that occur there, pickpocketing and things like that. They do not have a high violent crime rate. However, you will find that if you leave things on your porch, they will disappear. If you leave your car unlocked, it will get broken into and things taken out. Uh, most houses do have bars on them and fences around them as well. So it's not a unsafe country. However, there are issues that you need to be aware of and you need to protect yourself against. However, I mean, when we're looking at violent crime, it, the violent crime rate is extremely low in Panama. Now, as Charles mentions, um, safety is important, but the, the safety we're finding you have to take in Panama is the same type of safety considerations you take in any other country. Um, it, it doesn't matter if it's your home country or if it's a foreign country you're visiting. And crimes of opportunity are everywhere. So, of course, you just want to be careful. You don't want to leave electronics laying around. You don't want your money out where everybody can see it. And you want to just travel smart. Reason number five, activities. When it came to activities, we had some pretty specific criteria. Mr. Scuba Diver here, multiple scuba dives all over the world, definitely a recreational scuba diver, but I enjoy it. Um, kayak fishing, he wants to try open sea fishing. I want to be able to live on the beach and do beach activities, um, explore state parks. And we found in Panama when we visited such a variety of not only terrain, but everything we could possibly think to do on land and sea and I guess if we wanted to pay somebody to take us up in an airplane they'd let us jump out over Panama too so I'm thinking land sea and air there's activities enough to keep us busy more than that Panama's located wonderfully in Central America so that we could get to the Caymans we could get to Ecuador we could get to Costa Rica we could go to any other place and take take part in any of the Caribbean or the Pacific activities of that area so as far as activities went I thought it was pretty good yeah I mean it meant most of our criteria mine like she said was diving uh, there I can dive in the Caribbean and go dive in the Pacific all in the same day. Yeah. So it would be an opportunity and there's plenty of different places to dive around the country. They have many, many dive sites. Reason number six, vision. Our ability to see ourselves living there happily. The final reason, number six, was our vision. Could we see ourselves living in Panama? And I think after the trip, when we went down, we, we theoretically, before we went down to Panama, we had kind of settled on the fact that Panama was rising to the top of our lists. And I think we could see ourselves conceptually living there. It's a short hop from the United States. We wouldn't be that far out of pocket. It, we're in another world, but we're really right where we need to be if we wanted to come back to the U.S. Um, but once we got down to Panama, I noticed we had a just a like an awakening and I really got to the point where I could see myself living there and we both had a wonderful time when we were in Hawaii with the breezes coming by and the coast there reminded us so much of our time in Hawaii and the uh, it was just beautiful listening to the waves come in and the area we picked uh, has beautiful beaches no severe rip tides great swimming area a uh, large fishery nearby so that I can go fishing and all that. So it, we, we just seemed to click at that moment. And uh, we, like yeah. you said, it, it was a place that we both just kind of saw ourselves living. And I think when we hit the Azuero Peninsula, um, that's when our vision became a lot more clear. And I think we both kind of saw ourselves living a very happy life 
in that one little particular harbor. So if you liked what you saw, remember, like, subscribe, and leave us a comment below if you have any questions.